business God my words for the ones that never heard this Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this My number one concern is we're living in a furnace The less we try to change, the more it's gonna burn us Okay, so after all day <laughs> Since about 8 o'clock this morning Of burning screens and washing them out I finally got my first burn screen It's not perfect Got a little bit of wash out there But all the details there I got it drip drying right now, exposed on that light. The reason it's so dark in here, I got my lights off and uh, I got my screens over there. I was drying them. It looks brighter in the camera than it actually is. It's actually pretty dark in here, but my phone has some kind of auto brightness timer thing on it. So there's that. I got the second part, the second color to that screen. I got it burning. It's a design that me and a friend of mine created it's uh, going to be a zombie Boston Terrier. <laughs> We're going to attempt to sell some Boston Terrier shirts. Uh, he's an artist. He drew it up, and I threw it on Photoshop and turned it into a vector. But uh, I got three minutes and 47 seconds. Juan from Liberty Graphics and Design, he was dead on the time. It was exactly six minutes for a good exposure time. The problem I was having earlier today with my exposing was a uh, I was using these old emulsion I mean like very old it's probably uh three to five years old <laughs> that was never even been open I might try it just to see what it does because I mean it, maybe it's good since it's never been open but I'm using the Ohio ink supply mad Kim MXT red that's the one I just did these with and it seemed to work pretty good I'm going to wash out this last screen and I'll get back with you. So, and uh, just like that, the whole design changed. Why? Because uh, I may or may not have messed up my screen. Anyway, I uh, printed the Boston Terrier out of uh, different sizes so they didn't line up. So, yeah, there's that. Good job, me. So we're gonna try this one out. See how this uh, catastrophe turns out. Oh, this is another design I did. It says leave your mark, it has a pigeon pooping on it. That was pretty cool at the time. I have no idea what I'm doing as far as this ink. It seems like something that's spread too good. But I'm sure it's this operator error because everywhere everywhere else says this thing is easy to use. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm giving it a good mix and see if loosens up or something seems like it's too too hard i guess you call it <laughs> it's not smooth uh, spread too easy on the screen i'm going to try to uh preheat this i got a little yellow on it this is my test shirt so it's okay i mean white right now i'm gonna uh See if I can preheat this a little bit. Maybe it'll help it spread. Yeah, I guess it's okay. It's not spreading easy for me or the last one that I've been trying to mix this a little bit better while getting ink all over myself. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Kind of doing it as I go. Scrape this back to the bucket.
I got a different squeegee this time. Looked up and back flooded. Oh yeah, that worked a lot better that time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my tape's coming loose. Oh, I don't look half bad. <laughs> Heat it up and do another uh, layer. Need my temp gun. Ah, there it is. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's still really wet. Maybe it's got to sit on here a little longer. I don't know. I don't think it should be that wet. Let's use water the shirt to wash my hands. This is not acting right, or I'm not doing something right. <laughs> yeah, let's try that. Ain't too bad. Like I said, I want it to look kind of grungy. Let's uh, see what this temperature's at. I don't know what kind of footage you're getting because I'm holding my phone backwards. Because I had ink all over my hand. Getting 310, 311. I'm going to sit there and cure. Right, so, this is one of my designs I did. It says leave your mark. This on the Bella Canvas tee. Um, this is my very first shirt. I'm gonna cure it with this flash dryer because I don't wanna wait for the conveyor dryer to heat up. I'm only doing one or two shirts, one for me and one for my wife. 
Well, uh, see how it does. Man. I may have this thing up too low. Let's try dropping it some. Flash dryer too low and I scorched my shirt. So I guess uh, I'm gonna keep using this shirt to adjust my height and go from there. Can't mess up a shirt that's already messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna get it to where it's like right at 310 on the shirt. Still too hot. This is a take two on the shirt. Has a little pigeon on it pooping on you. <laughs> Just uh, trying to get a good distance for this thing. Because it seems like some spots are too cold and some spots are too hot. I'm getting... 337, 350 in the middle, but the outside is not getting enough. My very first shirt. Thing turned out pretty good. I uh, did a second shirt since the first one got burned up. But uh, like I said, I used the uh, FN White from a uh, Ryanet uh, ScreenPrint.com from Ryanet. This is my very first shirt, so it wasn't too bad to use. It had to get through a whole lot of user error. Like I said, I'm brand new, trying to figure this stuff out. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get these shirts up for sale. But yeah, that's the end of this video for the day. I gotta get inside. It's freezing out here. You can see my breath. <laughs> so, again, thanks Juan for the help. And Rye, Rye Beats, thanks for all the help, man. You're two awesome dudes. Thank you. Jesus got my words for the ones that never heard this. Open up the ears of the ones that need to learn this. My number one concern is we're living in a furnace. The less we try to change, the more it's going to burn us.